Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I'd like to take you through the setup and specifications on the Stick Weld 250. The Stick Weld 250 has a 60% duty cycle at a full 250 amps and is capable of burning the 6010 rod. The first thing to note on the back of the machine that it is a single phase 220 or a three phase 220 hookup. Wiring this machine is simple. Right here I have the standard configuration for the single phase 220 hookup. Your green will be the ground, your white and black will be your L1 and L2s. If you notice I have a red wire that's bent back. That will be your L3 if you were going to hook it up in a three phase operation. This right here is your standard single phase 220 operation. Now that we have the machine wired, let's talk about the Stinger. Stinger allows you multiple options on how to hold your electrode and uses the DEN connectors that simply just go in and you give it a twist and locks it down. For the ground, it's a very nice high spring tension copper lined ground that secures to your workpiece or to your table and utilizes the DEN connectors which just simply go in and lock down. You will notice on this machine we have a slot for the 6010 rod. Simply you'll take your ground or work clamp and move it over to the 6010 receptacle and tighten it down. Now you have full capability to burn your 6010 rod. With the machine on, you'll notice that we have a green on light and we have our amps in a digital readout. For welding current, it's simply tunable with a rheostat and you can tune in exactly what you want anywhere from 20 to a full 250 amps. Next to that we'll have our surge current. What the surge current does is it allows you to tune in just an initial arc or an initial surge in your arc to keep your rod from sticking. And then your arc force allows you to tune in for your spatter and how much force you're getting in your current. The Longevity Stick Weld 250 weighs in right at 39 pounds and comes standard with the shoulder strap for the utmost portability. Using the IGBT technology keeping the machine very lightweight but powerful, it's hard to find something like this that will burn a 6010 rod in such a lightweight package. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble and I'll catch you here next time.